A Canadian-based company is looking to buy and reopen a subsidiary company of Klausner Home Furnishings. Yeah, it has been two months since Klausner shut down, leaving nearly 900 employees without a job, including those at this subsidiary, Prestige Fabricators. Fox 8's Celeste Smith joins us now live from Asheboro in Randolph County with more. So, Celeste, how are city leaders there taking this news? Well, local leaders believe that if this sale goes through to VPC Group, it could potentially bring back much needed jobs that were lost when Klausner closed. Prestige Fabricators closed its doors August 7th when its parent company, Klausner Home Furnishings, announced it was shutting down. After closing, the company went into receivership. They were started here and um, been very successful here. And I think it's probably just bad news that they got caught up in these uh, financial uh, shortcomings of the parent company when Klausner was closed. September 15th, VPC agreed to purchase Prestige Fabricators for $7 million. Ashboro Mayor David Smith said he does not know the specifics of the case, but believes the potential sale is a sign of hope for many employees impacted by Klausner's shutdown. We're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope that this does come to fruition, that uh, the Canadian company that is pursuing Prestige uh, is successful, and um, we'll just wait like everybody else. We haven't been notified of any, any promising developments in that other than they are looking and trying to uh, make this happen. One of the conditions for the sale of Prestige Fabricators to VPC Group is its ability to enter a new lease agreement for the two facility sites in Asheboro, located on Dumont Street and Highway 49. They're um, a good asset for anyone that's in that type of manufacturing, so I feel like someone will come along and, and put an operation in there. And I did reach out to VPC Group about the company's interest in the Klossner subsidiary and how many positions it could potentially offer former employees, but not had heard back yet. Reporting live in Asheboro, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News. Back to you.